Snowball stopped off at someone's house to read the firmament by Faluki Fafool Fafalki 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 That's a weird name. Snowball does it? No. The snowball knows whose house this is. Can you guess? Snowball would give you a hint. In fact, Snowball will give you a big hint. The Formament by Falki. The stars of Tamriel are divided into 13 constellations. Three of them are the major constellations known as the Guardians. These are the Warrior, the Mage, the Thief. Each of the Guardians protects its three charges from the 13th constellations, the Serpent. When the sun rises near one of the constellations, it is that constellation's season. Each constellation has a season of approximately one month. The serpent has no season, for it moves about in the heavens, usually threatening one of the other constellations. The warrior. The warrior is the first guardian constellation, and he protects his charges during the se their seasons. The warrior's own season is last seed. When his strength is needed for the harvest, his charges are the lady, the steed, and the lord. Those born under the sign of the warrior are skilled with weapons of all kinds, but prone to short tempers. Jerks. The mage. The mage is a guardian constellation whose season is rain's hand. When Magicka was first used by men, his charges are the Apprentice, the Golem, and the Ritual. Those born under the Mage have more Magicka and talent for all kinds of spellcasting, but are often arrogant and absent-minded. The Thief. The Thief is the last Guardian constellation, and her seasons... Her season is the darkest month of Evening Star. Her charges are the Lover, the Shadow, and the Tower. The, those born under the sign of the Thief are not typically thieves, though they take risks more often and only rarely come to harm. They will run out of luck eventually, however, and rarely live as long as those born under the other signs. Next, the serpent. The serpent wanders about in the sky and has no season, though its motions are predictable to a degree. No characteristics are common to all who are born under the sign of the serpent. Those born under this sign are the most blessed and the most cursed. The lady is one of the warrior's charges, and her season is heart fire. Those born under the sign of the lady are kind and tolerant. The steed. The steed is one of the warrior's charges, and her season is mid-year. Those born under the sign of the steed are impatient and always hurrying from one place to another. The lord. The lord's season is first seed. First seed. And he oversees all of Tamriel during the planting. Those born under the sign of the Lord are stronger and healthier than those born under other signs. The Apprentice. The Apprentice season is sun's height. Those born under the sign of the Apprentice have a special affinity for magic of all kinds, but are more vulnerable to magic as well. That kind of cancels it out, Snowball thinks. The Atronach. The Atronach, often called the Golem, is one of Mage's charges. Its season is Sun's Dusk. 
Those born under this sign are natural sorcerers with deep reserves of magicka, but they cannot generate magicka of their own. That's... Snowball thinks it's kind of a drawback. The Ritual. The Ritual is one of the mage's charges, and its season is Morning Star. Those born under this sign have a variety of abilities depending on the aspects of the moon and the divines. The Lover. The Lover is one of the thief's charges, and her season is Suns Down. Those born under the sign of the Lover are graceful and passionate. The Shadow. The Shadow's season is Second Seed. The Shadow grants those born under her the sign the ability to hide in the shadows. The Tower. The Tower is one of the thief's charges, and its season is Frostfall. Those born under the sign of the Tower have a knack for finding gold and can open locks of all kinds. And that was... <clears throat> and that was the firmament. Snowball's dramatic readings. Have a good day. Bye bye.